How's your energy, Southern Arizona? Good evening to you. I'm Paul C. Kala. Arizona coach Sean Miller and the Wildcats were hoping to improve their winning streak against coach Bobby Hurley and ASU to seven in a row. It's all about Pac-12 and Sonoran Desert bragging rights as the Wildcats hope to get back to their winning ways after back-to-back -back losses against USC and UCLA. Arizona State students would gather hours and hours ahead of time as they hope to upset the Wildcats. Let's get things going early on and Remy Martin for ASU was starting off on fire, busting the three. That'd make it 44-35, but Arizona point guard Justin Coleman helped keep things close himself. His three-pointer will cut the lead down to 46-45. Into the second half we go, Arizona still trailing until Alex Barcelo will can a three-pointer to tie things up at 57 with about 11 minutes left. Then, gotta love the pick and roll. Justin Coleman off the screen. He'll hit Ryan Luther for the trifecta. You betcha, Luther would bust five three-pointers on the night and the Wildcats will battle back down 83-80, under 30 seconds left, desperation time. You saw it, Justin Coleman cans the three. This game's going into overtime and in the OT, Remy Martin is gonna all but seal it up with that long trifecta. Martin would score 31 points and ASU beats the Wildcats for the first time in four years. Final score, 95 88 and of course the Arizona Wildcats did not score one field goal in that overtime and we now join Ari Alexander who was live in Tempe and was at the game. Hey, Paul, Bobby Hurley's first win over Sean Miller came here at Wells Fargo Arena in overtime. And again, Arizona for having a limited roster. Sean Miller said that Chase Jeter was at about 40, 50 percent. Brandon Williams was out with that right knee injury. For having a limited roster, Arizona didn't play too badly, but Miller was not happy with the defensive effort. Remy Martin, 28 points, kept hitting three after three, and especially Martin, Zylan Cheatham inside, getting those rebounds. And Arizona State at one point scored 17 straight possessions and the defense was a big reason that Arizona lost this game. We just couldn't guard the guy in front of us and that's the hardest defense to solve because there's really no easy answer and uh, to ASU's credit and they don't rely on one guy although Remy Martin was terrific and he made some big shots. Uh, he took advantage of his size but so did some other players. After this one, 14 and 8 is Arizona's record, 5 and 4 in conference play. And as Sean Miller uh, told me earlier this week, this team really not at the NCAA tournament level, and they might actually have to win three in Las Vegas to make it to the big dance this year. Reporting live from Wells Fargo Arena, Ari Alexander, News 4, Tucson. Hey, thanks a lot, Ari. He'll be sticking around in Maricopa County watching some golf tomorrow. That's right. The PGA Tour is making a stop in Scottsdale, Arizona once again for the Waste Management Phoenix Open. And hey, trust me, in Sun Devil territory goes beyond the frat brats from ASU flocking to the golf course. That's right. More than a half million fans stream into the TPC Scottsdale each year in a spectacle referred to as the greatest show in golf. Over 720,000 fans turned out last year setting a PGA Tour record in attendance, and let's pick things up on the par four eighth hole, and you saw it. Ricky Fowler, the co-leader, sinking the birdie. He'd finished the day at seven under after firing a 64 tied with Justin Thomas for the lead. We'll be right back with the last look at your weather.